far oh, back on the tee here at the third, and he hates it. Straight right, and a long way right. Just going up the left there. Didn't see much come down either, I'm afraid. This is Ryan Fox, awful problems at the third. Drove it out of bounds, had to play a provisional ball, and he is going to drop three shots. Back to 10 under, a ham of low for the very likeable Kiwi. Ooh, it's a tricky shot, whether to go straight at it, I think he's going to have to play a little right. But... Ryan Fox. Yeah, nicely done. Not much to the right. But give you a bit more room. You don't land on the down slope. Well done, Ryan Fox. A bit of a up and down start for him. Hasn't got flustered. Eleven under. He's only four behind. All right, up to the green, and uh, this time Ryan Fox with a birdie putt. Yeah, he walks that one in. Wants to get on with things, Foxy. He's already had a triple bogey today, would you believe? It's just three back. Foxy. Can he pick the wind on 10? 12 under. Oh, I had a shot in here. <laughs> he can. Oh. Oh. Stunning. Simply stunning iron shot from the New Zealander. If you're going to win, you must make these. Yes. 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 the last five. After a tough start with the triple at three, he's back in it too. Quite a gettable flag, this at number 11. You yeah, yeah, see yeah. a bit right and come back and go straight at it. Oh, good effort for Ryan Fox after that lob at the third. So I hadn't showed in the way. He didn't see that though, we did. But, but it made no difference. And that was right in the heart of the hole. Jumps out of the log jam. Solo second, three back. To 12, Ryan Fox. Now at 14 under par, courtesy of back to back birdies. Chances of that, or maybe more, improving finding the fairway there. Much of aggression he can kind of throw at it. This is leaking right, isn't it? Or is it bending back for Ryan Fox? He's found the same bunker as right. Unless you're unlucky, they generally fall into the centre of the bunkers here. You don't get caught on the lips too often. Interesting way he's played this. Watch the grab. Oh, I suspect he caught it a little clean, didn't he? Yeah, shunted it forward. I thought it was a nice shot, yeah. Ken. Played it with a lower trajectory, what Rory needed, yeah. really. Well, that coming next, to get to 15 under par, perhaps. Slight downslope helped him, didn't it? Yes, he moves forward into solo second, two back, pressuring the leader. Fox. Surely he's not going to win the win the nearest of pink competition here. Well, you won't see three better shots than that, Ali. Certainly won't. Could throw a kitchen towel over those. Foxy still in the hunt. Is after that, David, isn't it? Four birdies in five holes to start the back nine, and Ryan Fox moves to within one of Tyrrell Hatton, who potentially has issues at 15. We're hearing he's taken a provisional ball there. Yeah, it's pretty damp into the breeze at 15. I would say this would be the one tee shot you wouldn't want to start the last few holes on. Ryan Fox with driver. Eight, four! Yeah, funny, had not iron, didn't he? His hand. Is he going to get a break here? Well, where's the tree trunk? That's the question, isn't it? Missed the holly. 
Ryan. Angle's okay. Lie looks clean. Oh. A fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Could that be the shot? Dodged a few bullets off the tee here, unlike Hatton. Similar tee shot. And then he produces this piece of magic. A good leave as well, isn't it? From that side of the cup, much easier than the other. And he walks that one in. And what a run this has been on the back nine from Ryan Fox. Five birdies in six holes and the Kiwi moves to the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> Wastes absolutely no time Ryan Fox, it's like the ball's going to run away from him. Up to it quickly and hit it before it goes. Perfect, absolutely exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah, as fast as they come, Ryan Fox. Remember he was three over through the first three holes. 146 out of the divot for Fox. There'll be some earth movement here. Back foot this, hands forward and just lean into this. Oh, he lent into it, all right. He lent it right into the pin. Another wonderful iron shot from the leader. Yeah, he went all the way across the 17th tee to watch those tee shots. Again, very little just inside the hole. It's wet, certainly. Straighten these sort of putts up. This is all pace. Oh, it's no pace. It's no pace at all. Oh, Millimetre shy. Half a turn, not even. Huge to give himself a two-shot lead going into those last two holes. Into the breeze, Fox laying back with three, but I like this play. Driver for me brings all the trouble into play. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Far enough right. Oh. Well, it's an easier lay than there. Please, the thank sand, you. If he chooses to. <clears throat> Laying up, Brian Fox from a good lie in the first cut. He's going to try and get up and down on the wedge. Made his decision and played it well. He's got a lovely wedge, wedge actually. He has those sort of slightly hoods of face and holds it open. Good for this shot. Yeah, 108, David. Nice layup. Good number for him, but. With the way this left-hand side of the green is structured, you don't want to be pitching this short of the flag, I wouldn't have said. Thinking Looking right, just slightly right. Has to be. Oh. Wow, that's a fine shot. It really is a fine goal shot in the circumstances. Could be to win. It depends whether Aaron Ryan can manage to hold his putt. Both hold, both finish at 18 under. He's quick, he's putted brilliantly all week. Can he nudge another one in? Tricky, tricky. This to win. How about that from Ryan Fox? A gold star performance from the New Zealander. He's a Rolex Series winner. He's the BMW PGA champion. And he's done it with a birdie at the last time, closing 67. It is the biggest win of his career, no doubt about that. Ryan, many, many congratulations. Your fourth DP World Tour victory has come in this marquee championship on an iconic golf course on a, a round of 67, five under par, which included a triple bogey. Just try and describe what this victory means to you. Um, well, I certainly didn't think I'd be talking to you after the third hole today. I mean, I, 
I, I don't really know what to think at the moment, to be honest. I mean, I've always struggled a little bit around here. Um, I think I've maybe snuck one top 20 and barely struggled to make any cuts around here. And, um, you know, to have a back line like that, especially after how I, how I started the day, um, yeah, it's amazing. I played great, pretty much didn't miss a shot from the third hole onwards and saw a couple of putts go in. And, um, yeah, it was a pretty cool feeling on the last to sort of know I had one to win and actually make it. How did you put that triple behind you? Because it would have knocked most people off balance and shoot eight under for the last 15 holes. Um, to be honest, I've been working with Carl Morris for a little while and it's just been trying to beat the golf course. Um, that's what we did all of last year and that's what we've been trying to do this year and that's kind of what I went back to, you know, not worry about anything, just pretty much go back to whatever shot's in front of me and I made a couple of birdies on the front nine and, um, you know, kind of steadied the ship a little bit and then just played great from there on and, you know, the back nine was, was crazy and then, you know, made birdie from the trees on 15 first hole back after the delay and, um, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty cool one on 18 there. We all know how much can happen over the closing holes here, almost anything. What were you thinking and feeling down the stretch and particularly on the 18th when you saw Tyrrell make the birdie in front of you? Um, I mean, obviously I knew I needed to make birdie. I kind of made the decision for my lie that I couldn't go at the second shot. It was sitting down just a little bit and figured, you know, I've been wedging it really good the last few days and just give myself a good number in there, which I did. I had 100 metres and um, it's you actually feel... I remember seeing Billy Horsham shot a couple of years ago. It's it's actually a pin you can get to there. You can use that slope and that's what I did. I think radar was a pretty good target there over the back of the green and I had the exact shot I wanted to and, um, you know, just kind of... The putt was just get it rolling and it was pretty straight and thankfully I managed to get it online. Your coach Jamie Goff was standing at the top of the hill 100 yards from where I was standing and I heard the scream of delight. Your wife and children are here as well. Just how important are all these people in this journey that you're on? Yeah, I mean, it's it's we've been through a pretty tough year as a family. Um, you know, I lost my father-in-law in June after a really really short battle with cancer and that kind of rocked the family and um, yeah, it's been been tough going back and forth and to you know come over here have obviously a good week in Ireland last week and then this I mean I, I, I don't think I could have wished for better and they're here this week I've just seen her sorry um, you know this to have to have them here and you know have number two with us little Margot who's four months old it's yeah pretty special many many congratulations fantastic plan thanks Tim cheers to watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here